Yeah, so you have to define resistance and then resistance is equals to potential difference divided by current. So if you look at the image, right, you see a hand down there and then you see the voltage, which is the, is this EMF or is this potential difference? Think about it. So then that voltage here pushes the charges and the hand, which is the resistance, stops the, or resists or makes it difficult for charges to move. So in this case, that means you look at this, right? So in words, right, it, it's like this. Resistance is the property of the material that restricts movement of free electrons, okay? So then the next one, it says it determines the size of current which can pass through the material. So if there is high resistance, then current will be low. The amount of current that can pass through is low. Then if it's low resistance, that means the amount of current that can pass through this thing, right, will be high, okay? So that is the relation. So if you want a more technical definition, the definition is this. It is the ratio of potential difference across it and the electric current flowing through it. So it becomes like this. So if question asked for definition, right, you should be quoting this one and not, not this one. So you should be quoting this one. Then the SI unit is ohms. So again, if the test or if in question in exams or worksheets, right, ask for definition of resistance, you should be quoting this one, okay? The first one is more for understanding purposes. So there, here we are, the resistance is V over I. So it's potential difference uh, in volts, then R is in ohms, and then current is in amperes. Then they will ask you to define one ohm, or like how they ask you to define one volt, they can ask you to define one ohm. So it will be the resistance when a current of one ampere flows through the conductor when a potential difference of one volt is applied. So one ohm is the resistance when a current of one ampere is yeah, okay, you have one ampere here and then you have one volt that is being maintained in the circuit. So if they ask you to define one ohm, this is what you write, okay? This one is just for fun only, this image. 